Okay, so today I'd like to talk to you about the importance of the half moon step that I was talking about in some of my other videos. Um, this is kind of a bridge between a modern curriculum and a curriculum uh, that is traditional or quote unquote traditional. Okay, and what's happened a lot of times is uh, this half moon step, as, as I the term that I've heard is uh, it's not necessary for sports. And so a lot of times it's been taken out. But there are so many important concepts with this movement um, that I think it's important to practice. And I think it's important to put it back in, especially if you're doing any type of uh, more, you know, uh, realistic, quote unquote, self-protection skills and stuff like that. Very, very important. So I'm gonna to try to explain that and show it here um, by myself. So you, I'll try to, I'll do my best to show you uh, what I mean by this as we're, we're getting the, uh, the dojo together, the dojong, <laughs> right? So, okay, so let me come back here and I'll sh I'm gonna show you. Okay, so, so what we're talking about and I'm going to go into this. I'm going to do a more of a modern curriculum too, hopefully. Right? If I ever get around to doing all these videos that I want to do. So, in the traditional sense, sometimes there's this stepping, right? And the first reason you're stepping like this. Now, if you're going to be, you know, in your self-protection situation, right, where you're you're hitting with palm heels. Right, and you can you can hit with punches, you know, whatever. But this is an entry, and the idea is if you have to move forward or you have to move back, you want to protect your groin. So I have my hands up as I move forward. As I brush, I protect my groin, which you don't have to worry about in sport competition, because typically. No one is supposed to be kicking you in the groin, All right? So this is unnecessary. There we go. Like that, right? So the first thing is moving in and protecting your groin. Um, second. Now, you also have this idea of moving offline. Now, you can move offline just like this. Right? Just like that. But again, if we're moving forward and we're moving offline, we're protecting our groin and we're using this motion to send us this way. Right? So hopefully that uh, rear cross that's coming at us, the cross right, is going to go over our shoulder, hopefully. Hopefully at least graze us, we can parry a little bit and then, you know, and hit, or hit, right, with a palm heel, right? I don't have this filled yet, you know. <laughs> All right, so we, we're going to do it, we can't hit it. We can't hit it. You know, moving back, whoa, whoa. Right, something to that, of that nature. I was a little too close at that at that moment and turned it into an elbow. Okay, so this safely, hopefully, brings you here, uh, out of line. So this helps you get out of line. Let's see, number three, what do we want to cover? Okay, so in a traditional martial art, what we tend to do is we tend to, a traditional karate, taekwondo, Tang Sudo, we tend to do this, All right? <laughs> this is the same movement as if we were doing old school Judo. All right. So, right, with push-pull Judo, you're, you're doing this. So the idea is as you're doing this push-pull Judo, the first thing is, 
If we're grappling, I got my arms on your arms, I can kick from here, right? And then go into a throw or what have you, right? So if someone tries to kick me and I'm moving forward, see, my leg gets in the way, hopefully, right? So just some added protection. The next thing is like in Osogari from Judo. So here we are, and I have you here. I'm using this half moon to move you, right? So I have my hand here on the, let's say here, right? And underneath, and now I could sweep or, there are other things you can do, right? We're not gonna cover them. But I could sweep and do the throw. All right, so here, we're moving back and forth, whatever, whatever, whatever. Boom, get you here, throw. And then whatever we're gonna do from there. So it keeps you safe, right? And then it allows you, let me, let me emphasize this, because I don't think I explained it. I'm doing the same thing with this leg but I'm picking the leg up to do the sweep or kick or whatever I'm gonna do. Ready? So on. Boom. And that's basically it. Boom. Right? And, you know, they fall, hit, turn them over, kick them, whatever you're gonna do. Okay. Next. Is there another one I wanna cover? Yeah. So the next thing is if I have to move forward, I want to move protecting my groin. But let's say, the, well, you're mirroring me, so it'd be a left foot. But to me, um, from my perspective, it's the person's right foot. Let's say the right foot is out, right? It's standing like this. If a foot is out, I can step on the foot. And not only is this a stomp, let me move back so you can, not only is this a stomp, protect the groin, and I stomp, right? I don't just step. And then, I should say, not only is it a step, it's a stomp. And you can do those scrapes where you scrape against the, uh, uh, the ankle and come down. Right? So, let show you again, boom. And now that I have him pinned, I can hit. And when I hit, he's gonna go this way. And he's, I have the foot pinned, so it's hard to regain balance. And as he goes down, he's gonna get his knee jacked, or she, right? So when your training partner, when you hit, you know, if you're, if you're gonna hit, you don't wanna hit that hard. If you wanna hit, pick up your foot. Pick up your foot so that the person doesn't uh, jack their knee, held in place, and, and rip muscles and tendons and have all sorts of problems with their knee. You don't want to break your training partner. Not a good thing. And the other thing, and maybe the, we'll make this the last one, is maybe we're in close, and now we can attack the leg. Now it's hard to show. I can't even really show it here but we're gonna entwine the leg. So one thing that happens in a lot of uh, martial arts is you might have an arm bar. You grab somebody's arm, I don't really have a, grab somebody's arm, right? And you're holding their arm, and you have their hand, right? you're doing this, or you're doing this, or you know, be very classical, or you can be here. Well, your leg should be doing work too. You can sit on the person's leg, you can entrap it. Um, and that way, you kind of um, kind of turn them a little bit more into a pretzel that way. But you, you control both their upper body and their lower body. And a lot of modern martial arts have kind of gotten away from, from this lower body uh, concept where you put the person down and you can switch legs, 
right, and, and, and do different things and take them down not only with their arm but with their legs. So those are just a few things, right, and there, there could be others. Those are just off the top of my head what you can do, right, with these half movement steps and why they're important and they've been taken out a lot of times. Um, so if you're doing, you know, like a, so it, it, it doesn't hurt with modern martial arts, if you're going to move forward or back, to have these steps to some degree. And I'm emphasizing them a little bit more so that you can see it on camera. But the better you become, the more subtle you can become. So that's basically it. Um, I hope that helps you in your home training in thinking about and conceptualizing uh, the concepts and why this stuff is good um, and helpful uh, with your training. And so, listen, if you like information like this, um, hit like, hit subscribe. Um, and uh, that's, that's basically it. Um, I, hope, I hope it's helpful, you, for, helpful to you uh, now in your training, if you're training during uh, uh, this lockdown. And, um, uh, and, and later on when you're able to train with partners. Okay. So, uh, oh, and just, you know, just be safe out there. Uh, both uh, uh, with uh, the, the uh, uh, virus and, of course, when you get out and you start training with the training partners or even at home, just be safe. Um, you, you know, as, as others have said on other videos and stuff, you know, this is not the time um, to get injured, to get sick, um, with some hospitals at capacity and stuff. And, you know, just want to be safe. Okay, so I hope everything's going well with you. Again, hit like, subscribe if you want more information like this, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. All right.